Hi, this is Tom Nonamaker with the Irma Corporation. So I have a new tool. It's available to everyone. It uh, lets you convert orders in Thinkorswim that you had got executed in the past. So you can reformat it, paste it in Thinkorswim, and analyze it and take a look at it. So if I have an order like this, it's a calendar spread. Now, if I look at Thinkorswim, let me just clean this up. And we come in here. It's already in the clipboard. So if I go paste... There it is, and now I can analyze it. So there's the calendar. Now it's a little bit below the money. So the current price of SPX is 45.15, and this is 45.50. So we need to add 65 points. And as soon as you make any changes, you notice it uh, says it's copied to the clipboard. And it's made the change here. This strike is now 45.15. If you click on here, it'll also copy to the clipboard, or you can click on this copy link. And then also copies it to the clipboard. So let's take a look at the uh, that order. Let me just delete the one we put in there. So this is in the clipboard, like you saw. So we'll paste it in and analyze it. Now it's pretty much at the money. And you may need to change the, uh, the dates on here. I'll just reset it. There we go. So just, that's the current price of that. Um, but it's fixed, so you had 670 on here. So let me just copy it again. Come back to Thinkorswim. Uh, let's see, there we go. I'll delete it. Go to the order entry. Paste that in. And 670. So that would be our entry price. So we would be down $75 on that six lot. Um, now it is a calendar, so it has two dates. So that's why you have date, first date, second date. Now, the, the fourth is actually a Monday, but uh, there's no trading on the fourth because that's uh, Labor Day. So you say, well, let's make it the fifth, and you see it changes right here on the fly. So now this is the 5-7 September. We can, again, copy that. I'll come back to Think or Swim, paste that in, and now I see it's the fifth and seventh if we analyze it. Uh, let me delete this. That's the one we just pasted in. So you can see the uh, the first and second date are used for time spreads. If you only have one date on here, uh, let me find an old an old single one. Let's see. Uh, here's an iron condor I did a long time ago, and I don't. Let me just see where we're at. So right now we're at forty five fifteen, and this condor looks like it's about forty five. So I need uh, to. Three, four, about four, three hundred and sixty points, maybe three sixty. So that looks like it might be about right. Now it's only going to take. Uh, there's only got one date, so it's going to change at twelve May to the first date here. And you can see there's the five September. So if we copy this and we go back to Think or Swim, you can delete this, paste in that new order, take a look. And okay, my strikes are off a little bit. Looks like I want to make it about so. Let's see, this is uh, 90, so maybe move it up 10, 20, 30. Maybe about 40 more points, so let's call it 400. And you see, I made the changes already. I already copied it to the clipboard, so it's just pretty fast. So let's try this one, paste, and we'll hide that original one. And now we're centered at the right right price, and we did it for 470. Now the current price is probably something else. It's 830. So if you had that one, it would look like this if you're putting it out. But if you're analyzing it, you can see okay, well I had 18,180 dollars of risk for my margin, and you can see how wide it was, what your deltas were, all that kind of stuff. So it, it's helpful to uh, to convert this. Oops, that, that condor, that sold order, into something that you can paste into Thinkorswim and analyze and take a look. Because that original one um, that we looked at, this one, you can't just paste that into Thinkorswim like this. It'll say not traded or invalid order or no order in clipboard. It'll give you an error message. Um, but it's JavaScript. It's very fast. You don't have to keep reloading the page. So if you're working on a trade log or something and you want to look at see, well, what what did I do in that trade? You can step by the uh, the orders one by one, 
and then put them in the analyze tab and see exactly what was going on. So that's how it works. Pretty simple tool, but pretty useful. And I hope you enjoy it. And um, let me know if you want any changes or any feedback or find any bugs. Be happy to uh, address those and uh, we'll talk soon. Thanks. Bye.